Uh, mental health minister must become a national priority as our country must uh, face up to a crisis beyond any other we have ever had. The Rural Independent Group pre-budget submissions sought increased funding of at least £85 million in the mental health services this year to deal with the emerging mental health crisis. The increased allocation by this government is only half our proposals. It is no wonder we have a crisis in mental health in this country. Across the country, many individuals are se severely struggling to even access basic support, even before the pandemic. But we have no doubt COVID-19 has adversely affected the physical and mental well-being of many more people. Both myself and my, uh, both my staff and myself hear so many harrowing stories on a daily basis from those who sought to access mental health services, but shockingly have been unable to do so. And why, I may ask? Well, the answer is very simple. In 2021, of the total health budget uh, was only 5.1% went towards the mental health in Ireland, in comparison to the UK, where 13% of their health budget went to mental health. This government is great at launching glossy action plans and strategies, but this is less than 5% of the work. 95% is actually getting the job done by funding the services and providing the resources. One of the most harrowing scenes in life is attending the funeral of someone who commits suicide. The upset it causes the family, friends, the whole community, community which takes a huge time to recover and in some cases may never recover. I sincerely wish I had the formula to end this crisis, which is growing in my community at an alarming rate. I plead with people to show love, care, compassion to one another. Talk to people who may be struggling, as it may be them today, and it could well be oneself tomorrow. But put out the hand of friendship to try ease the burden of pain so many carry at this time. Mental health issues has no age boundaries. No matter what your age, it strikes and can bring anyone to its knees very quickly. During the latter part of 2021, we heard from hospital consultants about the emerging tsunami of distressed young people presenting in crisis to the paediatric uh, hospitals and the paediatric emergency departments due to mental-related illnesses. However, hospital consultants have also warned at present it was not possible to provide appropriate urgent inpatient care to children and to adolescents due to the severe lack of beds for this group of patients. The Irish Hospital Consultant Association also said the number of adult psychiatry beds available for acute admissions had been reduced to the point where there were frequently no beds available tonight, at night in many of our community healthcare or, or organisations. They said this is causing an ongoing patient safety issue, Minister. 